So the turnaround time is quite critical and most of the studies as well as in the routine setting of diagnosis of ALL, the treatment starts after the lineage uh, clearness like B or T lineage and then the protocol can already start but latest after two or three weeks after the first cycle there has to be a more specific discrimination of the respective patient to a high risk group, standard group or a low risk group and then also more treatment that is more specific to the respective targets can be applied. For us the most important thing to be detected at the first beginning is the BCR able positive, Philadelphia positive ALL. That really means something from the early beginning with respect to treatment choice and also planning of transplantation for example. And there's an increasing group that wasn't known some years ago that's, that's called Philadelphia-like ALL. This is not so easy with respect to the diagnostic approach because uh, it's mainly based on gene expression profiling and that is not applied in a routine setting in most of the respective laboratories. But we can help us out with a combination of fish probes and a combination of very few mutations we address using next generation sequencing. But in addition to that, there's a need for discriminating the Burkitt type ALL that needs a very different treatment to all the others from the beginning to achieve the high cure rate that is possible. And further, many other stratifications will be based, and this is known for many years and is still increasing with respect to the needs on the minimal residual disease. And this can be done by flow or by molecular assays, now more and more based on next generation sequencing approaches or high throughput sequencing as it is also called.